Hi guys, do you feel the need for speed? Today, we'll show you all the steps and total costs of fragments should you choose to decide on going to awaken the mink race. So stick around and watch the entire video. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing as this will really helps us a ton. But before anything else, let me remind you that you need to find the Mirage Island and have your mirror fractal resonate with the moon during full moon. Or you can check out the video on the description down below or you can also check on the upper right hand corner of the screen on how you can find the Mirage Island. Once your mirror fractal resonated, the next step is to find the gear in the island. Then, go to the top of the great tree and go directly to the temple so that you can pull the lever. As mentioned previously on my video, awakening requires three different races, so it would be best to have your friends join you during trials. Speaking of trials, it is also best to take turns as this really saves a lot of time. Mind you, the duration of full moon may only take within 15 minutes, so each seconds count during this event, and time is of the essence. And of course, once you have completed the trial, don't forget to thank your friends for allowing you to awaken your race. So shout out to all these guys who made this possible. So once you completed the trial, follow the white orb and go to the ancient clock. From here, you'll need to place your first gear, and you'll also unlock the title, Thunderbolt. At this point, the next thing you need to do is train, and when you say train, you need to use or activate your awakening skills. You can simply do this either by defeating any NPC, or simply ask any of your friends to hit them and vice versa. But of course, damaging players and receiving damage by players gain rage meter much faster than NPCs. Also, it is recommended not to do character reset when doing training, since it is very likely that training doesn't count on how many times you use race awakening usage, but rather how long you use. So, stay on your awakened form and wait until it lasts. After you're done with your training, go back to the temple and pay 1000 fragments so that you can join the next trial and unlock your second gear. After completing your second trial, go back once again to the ancient clock. This time, you'll need to choose which ability you wish to unlock. And the options are either the Whirlwind or the Lightning Cloak. And I chose the Whirlwind which leaves a tornado behind once you do a dash step. And of course, the next thing to do now is to train once again for you to be able to join the next trial and unlock the third gear. Once done with your training, go back to the temple and buy the upgrade that will cost you another 1,500 fragments. So, the total cost you've paid so far is already 2,500 fragments. And now, you're ready to proceed for your next trial. And after completing your trial, just go back again to the ancient clock and place your third gear. Again, you do have the option to choose which skill you would like, either the Whirlwind or the Lightning Cloak. As for me, I chose to stick with the Whirlwind. After that, you'll need to train and buy the upgrade for 2,500 fragments, which leads us to a total of 5,000 fragments that we paid so far. And now, we're set for our final gear. The only thing that we need to do now is to complete one last trial, and our rabbit or mink race is fully awakened. And for those who are having a hard time completing this trial, you no longer need to worry as this will be the last time you will complete this maze. Again, I would like to thank all the guys from my Discord server for making this possible, and shout out to all of you. Speaking of which, in case you would like to do race trials, feel free to join my Discord server, just click on the link below and you can join my private server. So after completing the trial, go one last time to the ancient clock and place your fourth gear, and that will be the lightning cloak. In the event that you would like to replace your gears and change the skills on your race v4, then you need to participate on another trial and win. Just like that, you're done with the trials, but that's not it. If you want to fully maximize your race v4, you still need to train and buy fragments from the redhead essence, and the next upgrade after completing all the trials will be 3000 fragments. And the total amount that we've purchased so far is now 8,000 fragments. From this point forward, the only thing that you need to do is training. Lots of training. Most of you might be wondering, how many times should you need to train after trial or after completing all the trials? And the answer to that question is 15 minutes worth of transformation. That's the reason why it is not recommended to do a character reset when doing training. You'll notice from this clip that when I go to Redhead Essence, it showed me that I need to train more. But after a few seconds, it now shows me that I can buy the upgrade. And 
now, we have a total of 14,750 fragments used. And for the next upgrade, that will be another 3,750 fragments. And with that, we shell out a total of 18,500 fragments. As for the final upgrade, that will be another 4,000 fragments, which leaves us a total of 22,500 fragments to fully awaken a mink or rabbit race v4. So, if you have plans of getting, or if you already have rabbit race and wanted to get the full potential of this race, be sure to have 22,500 fragments. And the best way to acquire this is simply doing a lot of raids. So, what race would you like me to cover on the next video? Just leave your comments down below. And if you enjoy watching this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It really helps us a ton. And that's pretty much it on today's video. See you on the next one. Ciao.